one of the tallest competitors in WWE history. The personification of intimidation. The Colossus has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria. Weighing in at 400 pounds. Omos! You want to talk about how dominant Omos has been already in his WWE career? This is a man who won the Raw Tag Team titles in his debut match, which took place at WrestleMania. And in the days since, Omos has scored major wins against superstars the caliber of Riddle, even his former tag team partner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Gentlemen, just take a look at the size of this behemoth. It is a scary, frightening sight looking up at a man the size of Omos. Byron, you ready? Put your hands up, Michael. And his opponent, representing Lucha House Party from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 168 pounds, Kalisto! Former United States Champion, former Cruiserweight Champion, the sky's the limit for the Luchador. Hey, Kalisto thrives on overcoming insurmountable odds. And Kalisto, for his size, has accomplished so much. He doesn't realize that he's five foot four and only weighs 175 pounds. And Corey, what do you say to describe this man? Words fail me, Cole, and that does not happen often. A legit seven-footer, 400 pounds, can move like a cheetah and has the natural power of a bulldozer. One of the most astonishing men walking God's green earth. Very young as professional career as Omas, but with the abilities he possesses, the sky is truly the limit. And standing opposite Kalisto, a superstar who treats the laws of physics like they're optional. Kalisto would make Isaac Newton rethink his life's work, but there's something about Kalisto that doesn't sit well with me. Kalisto sees himself as a resident superhero, though I think he's flying a little too close to the sun, and someone's bound to bring him back down to reality. So if you're Omas, what are you focusing on to walk away from the victory in this matchup? The most important thing for Omas to do is what he does best, keep calm. I can't imagine what it must be like to be that tall and that strong, but Omas can't get too impressed with himself because he's still learning, and cockiness can make him vulnerable. Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Kalisto's hopes are waiting here. Omas keeping calm as he goes to work. This is looking well in hand for the seven-footer. And a drop. Oh, he's got him up high. The follow-away slam. Kalisto takes some damage. Perhaps that size and strength disadvantage came into play. Omas really leading into his natural power here. And this is what makes him so dangerous despite his inexperience. Power slam. And shoulders are down. Stops the count before it, too. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. Omas, what's he thinking? is keeping the match at his pace. Yeah, impressive offense from Omos. Look at this. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. And Omos just put all seven. Omos with a vice-like grip on his opponent. Kalisto looks out of it.
And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. So perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets.